welcome students today we have to discuss this problem from the topic permutation here problem is find the value of r if 5 pr is equal to 2 into 6 pr minus 1 we have already discussed in the previous videos that one very interesting formula is there in this topic permutations that is n pr is equal to n factorial y n minus r whole factorial okay here Uh, R should be always less than or equal to n. R cannot be greater than n. So we will use this formula here to get the solution here to find the value of R. Correct. So with the help of this formula, here five p R can be written as in place of n we have five and R is here. So this can be written as five factorial upon five minus R whole factorial. And in the right hand side, similarly, we can write two into six factorial by six minus r minus one whole factorial. Okay. Now let us simplify it further. Or this is five factorial by five minus r whole factorial is equal to two into this six factorial can be written as six into five factorial. Okay. Because in five factorial we are having all multiplications from one, two, three, four up to five, and this is six. So finally, this is six factorial. So six factorial can be written as six into five factorial. Okay. So what is the benefit of it? What is the benefit of writing like this? Because five factorial from both the numerators, from both the sides, will be cancel out. And here six minus r plus one means seven minus r whole factorial. Correct. Here, seven minus r factorial is number greater than five minus r factorial. So similarly, this seven minus r factorial can also be written as seven minus r into six minus r decreasing by one into five minus r whole factorial. So that five minus r factorial will be cancelled out. Okay. So here, this is one by five minus r whole factorial is equal to two into six is twelve, and in denominator we can write. Seven minus r into six minus r into five minus r whole factorial. So five minus r whole factorial will be cancel out here. So by cross multiplication, we are getting here seven minus r into six minus r. This is equal to twelve. Now we have to solve this equation to get the value of r, and we are having two options, two different methods for solving this. Equation. First of all, we will multiply these two factors, and we will get quadratic equation. And after factorizing and solving the quadratic equation, we will get the value of r. But there is one very simple method, because this is product of two consecutive natural numbers. This is seven minus r. This is six minus r. Two consecutive natural numbers. So this twelve can also be written as this is four into three. Product of two consecutive natural numbers. This is greater number. This is smaller number. Similarly, this is greater number. This is smaller number. So, by direct comparison from RHS and RHS, we can get seven minus R is equal to four, or you can write six minus R is equal to three. We will get the same result. No problem. So, seven minus R is equal to four gives us R is equal to seven minus four, or R is equal to three. So, this is the answer, and this is important to note that value of R is three, which uh, was not supposed to be greater than five or six. So, R is three. So, answer is okay. We are okay with this answer. So, R is equal to three. This is the value of R. This is the answer. Fine. Very simple. Understood well. Okay. We'll see some more problems in other videos. Thank you for watching this video.